Hi guys, my name is Harry. Recently, I already shared with you guys the resource group for the project Doctor's Appointment Booking System. And on my YouTube channel, you can see the videos, demo features for this project, this one and this one. In this video, I will do the second part, setting up and running this project. So let's get started now. If you still don't have the source code for this project, please subscribe to my channel, then comment your email below, I will send it to you. I really need your help to get the 1000 subscribers milestone. Thank you very much. The first thing we will do is opening this project with your favorite editor. I will use the Visual Studio Code. A free editor has strong support for JavaScript language. Find your project, then open it. You can see this is the structure of this project. I also added the readme file, so you can follow it step by step. Step 1. We will install our dependency for this project. Open the terminal with the shortcut Ctrl and Backtick. Then use this command npm install and press enter. We install all the JavaScript libraries. We set up our environment variable, copy the .env .example, click outside this project, right click and paste right here. Rename this file to .env. Press enter to finish and open it. As you can see here, these are our environment variables. I already set up the basic stuff for you, like the port and the connection to the database. We do the step 2, set up our database. In this project, you can see a folder named database. I exported my database to a SQL file, so you can import and run it now. For this project, I use MySQL to create a database, open your management database like MySQL Webbench or PHP MyAdmin. I use them to open PHP MyAdmin. Normally, we will hit this new button to create a database, but we no need to do that. All you need to do is click on this button to import the database. Open the SQL file in the database folder. Then scroll to the button and hit the Go button. Wait a moment for this process to complete. If you succeed, you will have a message with the green tick at the top. And in the right sidebar, automatically you will have a schema name, Dr. Care, a default name I set to our database. Inside it is 15 tables with data I created for you. We finished the step 2, setting up our database. Step 3, we need to update the .env file. Because in this project, we send emails to our clients, so we will set up an email for this job. I use Gmail, so copy and open this link. Continue with our Gmail account, type your password, and hit the next button. On this screen, you will create an, a password for your Gmail account. Remember, the a password can use the login to your Gmail account, so keep it secret. Select options like below, then hit the generate button. Or your password will be shown here in the yellow section with 16 letters. Copy this one and update our project. Open the .env file. Right here, we set up our email. The email username is your Gmail account. For me, it's harryfromdev at gmail.com. Then the email password is your email app password. Paste your password right here. That's it. Super easy to set up your email. We almost finished setting up for this project. Now it's time to test what we've done so far. To run this project, use this command, npm start. I use Norman and Bubble packages for starting this project. If we run successfully, there are two messages printing in the console. 
one is the airport 8080 and the other is the status connecting to our database. To open this project, open your browser uh, and go to localhost pause 8080. This is our project with the data I created for you. But we still have one problem. We don't have data for patients to make medical appointments. For example, if I click on this specialist, then choose a doctor. You can see we don't have data to show here. So how to solve this problem? We will use the administrator account to create the data. Go into the home page, then click on this toggle, choose login. We use this email admin at gmail.com and the password is 123456. This is our management page. You can see all the data right here. To get the user email, go back to our database, then open the user table. By default, I use the password 123456 for all users. To create data for making medical appointments, choose this section. All you need to do is hitting this button. The time and date for making an appointment will be shown in this table schedule. This table is empty, that's why we have nothing to show to the clients. Now let's create some data. In the doctor page, are embed a map showing the address of the doctor's clinic. I use Bing Map because it's free and it has all features we need, like zoom in and zoom out. Now let's make an appointment with this doctor. First, to an available time and date, a model showing up. We need to provide our information. In this model, you also see the doctor information on the right and your information on the left. Remember your phone number or the year you type and your email. We need this information later. You can also attach files, images in case you want to send your previous examination to this doctor. Uh, I will send an image, a cute little cat. Finally, hit the confirm button. This process will take a while because we send email to our clients. If we succeed, we will be redirected to this page and a message like below. Let's check our email to see if we have a new email or not. I open the Gmail account, which I provide in the form to make the appointment with the selected doctor. If I made an appointment successfully, I will receive a new email telling me that my appointment is pending. The reason our appointment is pending is that in reality, we may have spam appointments. We need to have a way to figure out which one is real. In this project, assume that we have supporters, service, car sellers who will call the patient with their phone number to confirm they have made a medical appointment. To confirm our patient appointment, I will log in with the supporter account. Use the default account, supporter at gmail.com, passwords 123456. This is the management page for supporters. On the left side, click on the new patient menu. Whenever you made an appointment, your appointment will be shown here for the supporters to confirm. At this step, the supporters can deny your appointment if it is spam. For example, provide an invalid phone number or invalid email address. We have four sessions on this page. The first one is showing all the new appointments. Next is the needing to confirm. At this step, the supporters must call the clients with their phone number to confirm their appointment. If the appointment is real, we have another session 
appointment confirm showing all the confirming appointments. The last one is the denying session showing all the appointment are cancelled. To check my appointment I made before, I will log in to the doctor account who I made an appointment. To know the doctor account in our database, open the user table. I made an appointment with the doctor even, so I will use this email to log in. Go back to our supporter page, click on this setting to log out. The email doctor at gmail.com and the password is 123456. After that, on the left side, click on the appointment menu. This session will show all the doctor's appointments. You can search by the date. For example, I choose November 18, the date I made the appointment. And here it is, my appointment. The doctor can see all the information I provide in the form to make this appointment. Even the image I attached for the previous examination, a cute little cat. After you have been exam successfully, the last step is sending invoices and prescriptions to your email. To do that, select the files you want to send, then hit the send button. Open your Gmail account, which you used to make the appointment. You will have a new email with an attachment file. For security reason and protect the customer information, this attachment needs a password to extract. I also write instructions to find out which is your password. 